Löffel. Chopped by a gecko. Coyote is back and at it again. I, will, I hope I haven't missed anything in between. This is the first time I've been sent something in months, I think, from y'all for uh, Brave Wilderness. Let's check this out. I don't know if being chopped by a gecko is that dangerous. Because, you know, usually the more dangerous, the more we want to watch it. But who knows, maybe there's something about geckos. I don't know. I know they can help you save on car insurance, but uh, I don't know about biting your finger, what that's all about. Let's check this out. Hi, Shen, right there, side of that tree. Where? Okay, I'm yeah. just gonna go for it. Got him! You got it? Yep, got him, got him, got him. Look. Ah. Oh! Ow! Ooh! Yeah! Yee! <laughs> Bingo that. There it is. That is a Tokay gecko. All right, let me slowly peel this guy up and uh, off of the tree. That is about as good a grab as I can possibly make. Let me just kind of peel his little toes off there. Uh, man. All right, buddy. Man, that's uh, a big gecko. Woo! That is a good gecko. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, he is all chompy is trying to get my fingers in his mouth. <laughs> all right, let me crouch down right here. There you have it. So he's just like Look at you. Good looking. Oh, my hand is shaking right now. We have had many misses tonight. And unlike frogs, these geckos do not stay still in flashlight shine. They quickly zoom around the side of the tree. Wow, a perfect specimen. Look at the coloration. Grayish blue, gorgeous. light blue, and gorgeous all that copper speckling. Oh, he's gonna make, oh, oh, I hear you. You hear that bark? That's what we've been hearing calling all night. And that's actually a defensive warning that if you get your finger close, I'm going to give you one very painful chomp. Let me go ahead and turn its body like this. You can get a good look. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh, boy, he's going at me. He's going at me. All right, trying to get a bite going there. No, buddy, you can Man. hear that little bark. They are incredibly aggressive. Ooh, ooh, that's too close to my finger. That came out of nowhere. Yeah, strong, right? They will explode into action like that. Now, the males are larger than the females, and they're also incredibly aggressive. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the bite zone with the Tokay Gecko. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Chomped right on that. <laughs> Huh? It couldn't have been that and bad. Let and let go. Yeah, go ahead and huh? zoom in on my finger there, Mario. He's bleeding. And that is the result of a Tokay gecko bite. Kind of looked like it might have had some tiny serrated teeth. So I wasn't sure if he was going to bleed or not. I was like, eh. I was like, ah, you know what I mean? Like, I couldn't tell. And then when he showed his finger, I was like, okay, he bled. But yeah, he had little teeth. And he just bit him and let go. And he's chomping, though. He was like, ow. Oh. So, yeah, whatever. Um, so, it's an invasive species. It eats mice and birds and anything small that it can get its little jaws on. Interesting. Looking for something uh, more uh, scary, though. I wonder if he's going to start letting, like, other things bite him and stuff. You know what I mean? Because that's the bread and butter of that channel. Getting bitten. <laughs> the bread and butter. I'm glad the man's still alive to do it. You post your comments down below. You let me know what you all thought. If you enjoyed my reaction, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Subscribe to Brave Wilderness. If you did not, you can kiss me and Coyote's Black Derriere's. Two million subscribers. Woo!